everyone. Pharma Studio is back now with a new topic which is the services available in a community pharmacy. Do you know what is a community pharmacy? A community pharmacy is generally a premise with at least one pharmacist holding a type A license issued under the Poisons Act 1952 who can directly supply and sell medications to the public. Some examples of community pharmacy are Caring Pharmacy, Watson's, and Guardian. The services are further categorized into two types which are essential services and optional professional services. Let's get started on the essential services. As the name implies, essential services are dedicated to all patients with minor ailments. The first essential service to be discussed is the screening of prescriptions. When a patient comes to the pharmacy with a doctor's prescription, pharmacists will first check for the dose, frequency, duration, contraindications, patient drug allergy and possible drug abuse. This should be done before dispensing of medications to ensure the prescribed medications are suitable for the patient and meet the desired management outcome. Besides, pharmacists will contact the prescriber if the prescription is incomplete or problematic so that the patients are able to receive the best treatment. Secondly, dispensing of medicines. It is well established that medicines are classified into two types which are the prescribed medicines and over-the-counter OTC medicines. Prescribed medicines can be bought in a community pharmacy with medical prescriptions whereas OTC medicines are easily accessible in the pharmacy without prescriptions. Proper labeling is important before dispensing the medicines to ensure the patients are accessible to the product information. This diagram shows a good example of proper labeling. The information on a label must be clear and easy to understand to ensure patients' compliance. Thirdly, compounding of medicines is also one of the essential services in a community pharmacy. It is an extemporaneous preparation which is known as the art of assembling individual pharmaceutical products into a drug. Compounding is often patient-specific and only prepared by pharmacists if there is no equivalent product available commercially. Mortar and pestle are the traditional apparatus used in this process. Fourthly, counseling and advisory. Upon dispensing medicines, pharmacists will provide clear instructions about the medicines such as dose, frequency, how and when to take the medicines as well as the possible side effects. And at the same time, pharmacists will advise patients on non-pharmacological treatment to improve patients' quality of life. Patient counseling service is a must so that the quality of patient care is improved. Next, monitoring and screening tests. Upon patient's arrival, pharmacists will monitor and evaluate patient's vital signs and symptoms first. Then, step two. Pharmacists will carry out appropriate assessment by asking patients relevant questions before proceeding to step three, which is establishing patient's severity. If the patient's condition is considered mild, ODC medicines can be dispensed to alleviate the symptoms. Conversely, pharmacists will advise the patient to visit the hospital if their condition is severe or when the suitable medicines require a doctor's prescription. Alright, let's now turn our attention to the optional professional services that are provided in a community pharmacy. First, patient medication review. It is a structured and critical examination of a patient's medications by the pharmacist in order to reach an agreement with the patient about the treatment. Patient medication review aims to optimize the impact of medications and to minimize the number of medication-related problems. In the review, pharmacists will provide advices on the medicine's usage to the patients, aiming to develop compliance. Besides, pharmacists will counsel on the appropriate use of medicines, the possible side effects they might encounter and the use of any vitamins, complementary or ODC medicines. All health-related issues will be discussed in the review. While most smokers find it hard to quit smoking, Community Pharmacy provides smoking cessation service. Pharmacists will provide professional advice and support such as devising an effective quit plan and providing practical counseling. In the screening and assessment of customers, pharmacists will apply the 5S framework which is ask, advise, assess, assist, and arrange. Pharmacists will be there to motivate and guide smokers to make the right decisions. Furthermore, weight management program is also available in a community pharmacy. 
A body mass index BMI screening and a waist circumference measurement will be offered to potential customers. After that, pharmacists will interpret the results and explain the risks involved if one is overweight or obese. Then, pharmacists will recommend a weight reduction program suitable for the customer and design proper follow-up visits to monitor the customer's progress. Lastly, health screening. The pharmacy will have a suitable area with facilities to perform tests such as blood pressure test, blood glucose test, urine test, and lipid profile test. After the tests, pharmacists will communicate test results to the patient clearly and provide appropriate counseling. If you want to know more about the services, visit a nearby pharmacy. Thank you for watching.